Now, uh, what do you prefer, pounds and ounces or grams and kilograms? Well, from now on, the decision to go metric or stay imperial in the UK will be up to the individual. The European Commission has bowed to heavy campaigning and it's now shelved plans to make everyone use metric measures by 2009. Yeah, we're going to discuss this now or debate this, should I say, because they're joining us. Uh, to talk about the pros and cons of the decision is uh, Derek Pollard from the UK Metric Association who thinks we should have one system for measurement here in the UK, the metric system of course, uh, and in our Newcastle studios, Neil Heron from the Metric Martyrs campaign group uh, who believes the British should have the option of both metric and imperial uh, measurements. Well, let's uh, go to you first of all, Neil Her Heron, because uh, presumably you're celebrating victory. Yeah, we've had a couple of litres of beer tonight just to celebrate <laughs> and uh, cracked open a bottle of champagne. But um, it's fantastic news, obviously tinged with the sadness that the guy who drew the line in the sand, Steve Thorburn, is not with us. And uh, to you in the studio, Derek Pollard, you think the wrong decision has been taken? I'm glad that Europe is now out of the debate and we've brought the debate back to Britain. I think Europe has really complicated the issue here and enabled politicians to hide behind the fig leaf of Europe without uh, and not take the difficult decisions that have been needed in the past. I think now with the debate at home we can debate metric and not Europe. Uh, which is the issue we'd like to get sorted out. But I mean, we've been asking for texts and emails on this, and overwhelmingly, people want the imperial system. Uh, they, they, they don't want the metric system, or at least they want both. I mean, for example, uh, Stuart Eager in Hartford says, a victory for good old British common sense. And if you had a referendum, that would be echoed up and down the land, wouldn't it? But I think of George Bernard Shaw. He said the British didn't ask for the British Museum. It was foisted upon them. But now if you attempted to take it away, they would complain vigorously. People have not yet experienced the benefits of a uniform, unified, simple system of measurement. Uh, and once they have uh, used that, uh, they would be in support. Well, that is the experience we found in Australia and New Zealand, where people certainly wouldn't go back to the old system, having tried the new. Neil Heron, we've had a text in from Clinton, a carpenter, who says he'd think nothing of ordering a 2.4 metre length of 4 by 2 inch timber. I yeah. mean, anyone that's ordered timber does just find that a kind of bizarre amalgam and, and that's going to continue. It, w w why are we in such a mess? Uh, because the politicians, and I'll agree with Derek on that point, the politicians haven't addressed the issue. Um, they've had plenty of time to go metric, they've had plenty of time to inform, educate, debate and discuss, but they haven't done it. And I'll disagree with Derek. Uh, this did come from Europe. It was a European directive. The British government did announce that it was planning to go metric in advance of us joining the common market, but it was never ever meant to be compulsory. And it was only as the result of the European Union Directive 80181 EC which came in, the British government attached the criminal sanctions to it as well when they put it through Parliament via the back door, via a statutory instrument. There was no discussion, no debate, no political party put it in, in its manifesto and it was outrageous, disgraceful and we've hopefully shown it up for what it was. Derek Pollard, just a very quick thought. I mean, isn't it uh, quite good in some ways to have both systems because you look towards the United States and you look towards Europe? Uh, our system differs from the United States. The United States has sufficient clout in the world to insist that countries trading with it use their system. It's different from our system. We don't have their clout. And really, we, if we want to be a global trading nation, we really have got to use the global um, global system of measurement, which is overwhelmingly metric. Well, it's a debate that's going to rage. I know Derek Pollard and uh, Neil Heron, many thanks to you both.